Hello everybody, my name is John, and this is part two of my video series exploring the VEX Tournament Manager software for use in the VEX Robotics Competition. And in this video we're going to look at the different types of displays that are available within the Tournament Manager. So the first type of display is the field queue display. And we'll create a field queue display by going to displays, start new display, field queue. And each field queue display is associated with a, an individual field. So we'll say, in this example, we'll, we'll do field 1. And here's a preview of our field queue display for field 1. Uh, so field queue displays show uh, information about the next match scheduled on the field they're associated with. Uh, or if there's a match currently happening, uh, then they will show the timing for that match. So, for example, if we go ahead and queue match uh, 1, which is scheduled on field 1, we'll see the field queue display for that field uh, shows information about which teams are in that uh, match and the scheduled start time. Now, in this case, I've scheduled the matches for tomorrow, so, you know, 1,200 minutes from now. Uh, but obviously, if we were closer to that time, that would be more useful. And then if we go ahead and start that match, uh, then we'll see that the um, queue display uh, goes to displaying the timing information uh, for the match that's currently ongoing. And if we end the match, uh, we can see that it goes automatically to displaying information about the next match that's scheduled on that field, which in this case is match 3. Uh, so the field queue display is sort of managed automatically uh, and really, once you set it up, uh, you don't have to worry about it very much. And this is the display that's usually used uh, for the physical monitor that's located attached to the field for the teams to look at during the match. So that's the field queue display. Uh, next up is the pit display. And that's used uh, in the pits, as the name implies, to display uh, various types of information to teams. Uh, things like the match schedule, uh, the current team rankings, you know, during qualification matches, uh, skill scores, uh, information about alliance selection, things like that. So let's create one of those. And as we saw in the previous video, uh, we can create multiple logical pit displays, each of which can be shown on one or more physical displays. In this case, let's look at the rankings display. And here's a preview of that pit display. And if we now go to uh, Pit Display Control and select the logical display, we can control what's shown on it. So, for example, we want to see Alliance Selection or the current rankings or the schedule. Uh, so that's how you can adjust what's shown on the Pit Displays. So those are Pit Displays. Uh, last up is Audience Displays. So let's start an Audience Display. And Audience Displays are associated with field sets, so not fields, uh, like the field queue displays, but field sets. So we'll create one associated with the main field set. And there's a preview of that display. And if we now look at uh, that display, so the audience displays can show uh, all the same information as pit displays, so we can still look at things like the match schedule or the rankings, uh, but also we can show information about the a match that's currently happening uh, on that field set. So for example we've queued match 1, so if we go to intro we can see information about the team scheduled in that match. Uh, as soon as we hit start match it will go to the uh, in match screen which shows the time remaining for that match. And also once we've scored a match we can see the results uh, from that match using the saved match results uh, functionality. And the audience display, as you've seen, is controlled uh, via the control window for the fields that it's associated with. Um, so we've already looked at uh, creating displays on uh, within the Tournament Manager software here in the Displays menu. Um, you can do this on other computers, too, that are connected over the network. So you can have displays all over the venue on various computers, and they'll all be controlled over the network. Uh, one other thing you can do uh, is show displays on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, and I'm not going to demonstrate that in this video because I don't have a Raspberry Pi, but there is a, a video that's produced by the, uh, the developers of the Tournament Manager software showing how to do that. And uh, 
I will link that video in the description. Uh, that can be a great way to add additional displays uh, at relatively low cost compared to having like a bunch of laptops. So that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be discussing the check-in and inspection functionalities of the software.